so family it is your spiritual friend Brittany here with a random check-in for the sign of Aquarius we have the turning point <clears throat> Something is getting ready to return. You can be in the beginnings of something new, the start of a new cycle. Something's happening at the right with with right timing, regeneration, inevitability, steady improvements, the turning point. So Let's see, you also have following, excess, enthusiasm, and splitting apart in reverse. So I feel like somebody is realizing that you are splitting apart. Someone is not happy about it. They don't have ex enthusiasm about this. They're not excited about this. They're not positively res responding to this. This breakup or this split apart or this separation that's taking place. <clears throat> I feel like it's in, within a brotherhood or a sisterhood. It can be a group of friends. Or it can simply be that it's the end of the school year. People are graduating. People are teams are splitting up for the summer this could be about anything um it's very random energy here but the message is very much understood and whether it be for a student or a lover or a friend or a family member i just feel like something has been too much for you it's weighed heavy on you weighing you down almost like it's been an overload it's caused stress it's caused you to feel exhausted you've experienced some burdens due to this due to this friendship or this relationship or this program or this job or something and it's like you were so you were becoming very worried but you are finally at your breaking point which is also the turning point and yeah, I just feel like someone's going to be sad that you have to go your opposite, go the other way or whatever, but it's what's best for you. Um, and if they truly love you, people are going to follow you. They're going to go with your, with, with your guidance. They're going to always choose your service, no matter where you end up, no matter who you end up with. You're going to always be chosen because you are adaptable. You are loyal. You are someone who is trustworthy and you are reliable. You're sensitive to other people. And they truly believe that you have some sort of godly gift or some sort of supernatural knowing or, or capabilities or some sort of gift. Like you could be psychically inclined or you could be intuitive in a way. Something about you, something that you do, some sort of service you offer to other people. It's like no matter who you split up apart from, no matter where you go, no matter what you decide to stop doing, the gift of service stays with you. You are always going to be a great service provider to someone who is following you. So like if you do hair or nails or makeup or you're a designer or you are a painter or you are some sort of performing artist or you provide some sort of service, Spirit is just reassuring you that you can do whatever you want to do. You can go wherever you want to go. You can be with whoever you want to be with. Happiness is going to find you. And money is going to follow you. You will always have someone to provide your services to. So if you feel like a split apart or a breakup is what you need and you've reached the point, or you feel like you need to bring something to an end, whatever the situation is, 
whatever the mission is that you feel you should abort. Spirit is just saying, go ahead and do what you need to do. And this could be happening because someone didn't give you what they promised you. Someone could have made love offers to you. Someone could have pretended to be in contact or in connection with their higher self, their higher purpose, but they really didn't. They haven't reached inner peace, inner wisdom. They don't make positive changes. Um, so it could have been like you started the beginning of a cycle with a person who you thought you would be together with, one with, whole with, or you could have reconciled with somebody who you felt like you would marry or you felt like they were gonna finally give you this loyal love or this family legacy, but you found out that everything that glitters ain't gold. From my oracles, we have the 10 Ten of Cups and the number 10 in reverse. Also, everything that glitters ain't gold was in reverse. So yeah, that's what I feel the message for you today is that if you have found out that something is not for you and you are choosing to go forward and move on with your life or change your situation or make changes to a situation or to a program, whether it be love, education, finance, or family stuff. Um, Spirit is just saying, go ahead and do it. Make sure that you seek nourishment, health, well-being. Make sure that you nurture your body, your mind, and your spirit. Continue providing for others and continue to create balance. Practice those things as you rid yourself of people, places, things, and programs which you no longer want to associate yourself with. And you are going to definitely come out a winner. It's inevitable. One of the words on one of your cards today was, I don't know how to say it, inevitability, inevitability, probably, which means something is bound to happen, it's going to happen. Okay, we have be willing to, per, to forgive, making new friends, helpful person, and sacral chakra. So right now you could be highly sensitive to people, places, and things, highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. So this is all about ditching something old and accepting something new, preparing for something new, make preparations, brace yourself, brace your mind, you know, talk to have the conversation with yourself, mind, I mean self, <laughs> I am about to go through something that is going to be a drastic change for somebody, whether it be for my partner, it's gonna, they're not going to be able to accept that I'm leaving them, or whether it be for my teammate, or my school, or my job, or my family, they're not going to be able to accept that I'm leaving them, so I need you to to be prepared for their reactions and and go to the to the ethers to the universe to the spirit realm and ask the angels angels as i prepare myself mind body and spirit will you please prepare the world around me will you please prepare this person or this team or prepare the situation that i am leaving and prepare a new situation for me that welcomes me in because we have making new friends and be willing to forgive so and helpful person so this is all like 
I believe it's like forgive yourself for going through or experiencing whatever you had with a person or in a situation. Forgive the person if you will, if you can, and go ahead and accept the help from this new this new person because these new people are going to be your lifelong friends where th this last group of people who have been your friends or partners or whatever they have not been so loyal um so helpful to you things are about to change this is the turning point for you so yeah i hope you enjoyed your messages um i will be back very soon for you bye <laughs>